Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and I am super pumped up because I have a new explorer to show you. It's a crashed explorer, so you don't have to wait around for a while. And I have so many more updates, but this is my first video back. Sorry, it's been a while. So <laughs> I'm sorry it took so long, but I think it's going to be worth it. You guys are going to see that on our stream Saturday morning, but... Let's get into what we have here. And this video is going to be about finding a crashed explorer. And it's pretty awesome. It's not the best, but it's pretty dang good. So, let's give credit where credit is due. This is from a post over on the No Man's Sky Coordinates Exchange. NMS Coordinates Exchange, okay? I went over there. Head over there if you ever want to find some cool stuff because they have tons of stuff. And I found this uh, explorer over there. And specifically, it came from... I'm going to mispronounce the crap out of this name. Crocox? Crocox? User Crocox over there. Crocox? I mean, it probably sounds bad on uh, YouTube. I'm sure they're going crazy. Crocox. That's what we're going to call them. Over on Reddit, okay? So, check it out. This is the, the coordinates that he threw up there. And it's pretty good. So, let's jump into it now. You can always go over there and check it out. Or you can just pause the video right here and it'll show you. But let's do it. So the uh, coordinates start with the sunrise, the bird, trivial pursuit, the rocket, the triforce, the TP, the face, it looks like. Then it's the boat, the flux capacitor, the black hole, the bug. And then the last one is going to be the rocket. So, pause it or, you know, screenshot it, whatever you need to do. Or go over to the No Man's Sky Coordinates Exchange. And there you have it. And again, big ups to Crokix. Crokix. I'm going to pronounce it that way. That way we don't get in trouble on YouTube. So, let's head over there. And remember, this is a crashed hauler. Oh, yeah. Before we go, I wanted to say before you go, turn off your ambient multiplayer. Turn it off. Now, I'm on Xbox One, so if you press start, and you go, you pause it, you go all the way over to your options. You see all your saves and stuff, but you're also in your general options. No, not general. Sorry. Excuse me. Network options. You can have multiplayer disabled. Do that, because if you go through this portal and your multiplayer is turned on, somebody could just ambiently just come into your game, not even trying to, but they can come into your game now since multiplayer is just turned on, and they will take it, and you will never get this ship, okay? So make sure to turn that off before you head through this portal. Yeah, now once you land on the other side, you're going to want to stay on this planet because the crash location is on this planet, okay? You don't have to leave or anything. But jump into your starship, and let's go to it. Now, I always have mine in first person because you see over here on the left, this is for my my starship, this fighter. It might change depending on your lo you know your specific loadout, like your ship. But it, there's gonna be always on the left. There's gonna see you're gonna see your name, and you're gonna see coordinates. Like mine's plus twenty six and plus forty two. Those are your coordinates. So like if you get up, take a you know launch off, and if you start moving, you see how my numbers start moving. Those are your coordinates. We're gonna be looking for specific coordinates. And I will show you them when we get there. So let's head out. And we're going to, to help you out, head south. That's where you want to want to go. It makes it a little bit easier. Right from the uh, portal, head immediately south. And you should be able to get there pretty quick. So let's get there. Now, if you guys watched that, you see that I went up into into space, basically outside of the atmosphere, and then pulse use my pulse engine to go over because you're on the other side of the planet, basically. And if you go outside of the atmosphere, you can use your pulse engines. If you try to use it inside, like if I try to do it right now, it says pulse engine is unavailable because you're too close to the planet. That's why anytime you see me, like travel far distance, I'll go right outside the atmosphere. You go right above the clouds, and you'll be able to get into a uh, pulse engine mode that way you could travel super super fast but uh, this is a general area i want you guys to see it because 
Sometimes it won't load up correctly. You might need to give it some time before the ship loads up. Depending on which system you're playing on, it could take a second for it to pop in. Because I know on Xbox One, these uh, the graphics, some of the uh, textures, they don't pop in until you're really close. Like you see all that grass popping in. So give it some time. Kind of circle around a little bit. But we're looking for this coordinates right here. Minus 78.79 and minus 59.16. Those are the coordinates you want to hit, okay? And if you don't see it immediately, give it a second. Like land, take a little bit of a walk. That way you let you give the uh, your system time to pop in. Especially like if you're on a regular Xbox One, it's probably going to take a little bit of time to pop in. Same thing for a regular PS4. If you have a Pro or an Xbox One X like I have, it might pop in a little bit faster. Or if you're on PC, you might not need any waiting time at all. But it works on all these systems, okay? And I made sure to leave a, uh, a save beacon here to mark it for myself. Because I always check these before I fly out here. That way I know if they're here or not. But here it is. Look at this bad boy. Look at this thing. And the best part about this is that it's symmetrical. I hate the explorers that have one wing that's really stubby. And the next wing that is all cool like this big old cylinder with the spikes coming out of it. Like an X-wing. I hate it when they do that. So this one's sy symmetrical. I specifically looked for one like that. Because this thing is so BA, it's crazy. So let's get in here. Let's check it out. And look, it's a crashed ship, so they're going to have a lot of broken things right here, okay? But that's okay. We're here to fix it. I mean, and you could also, like, if you don't use a phase beam, you could destroy that and get the materials from it. So don't worry about that. You don't have to keep anything but other than the photon cannon, shield, hyperdrive, and launch thrusters, and the pulse engine. Those are the ones you have to keep, but I can get rid of the recharge, the launch recharger. I can get rid of the thrust, efficient thrusters. I don't know why you would, but you can if you want to. So let's actually compare it. I'm going to trade in one of my fighters for this one. And you, you, you shouldn't do this if you're, you're thinking about it because I have an S class and I'm trading for an A. This is an A class and it has 37 slots. Again, not the best, but it is really cool. And the biggest factor for me is that it's symmetrical. You don't have to worry about it looking lopsided. That's the bigger factor for me. I'm look, I'm getting it mostly for the looks. If you don't want a thing like that, you could also, there's plenty of videos on my channel where you can, you know, pick up ones that you have to wait at a, a trading post and do all that. And, you know, sit there for a couple hours waiting for an S class to come in. This should get you through most of what you want. Because, I mean, the stats are a little bit lower on an A class versus an S class. And the, uh, it doesn't have the maximum number of slots, but it is so close. It's like one step away from being perfect. One step away. So when you first get in, you're going to have to fix some stuff. Now, I don't use a phase beam, so I'm going to get rid of that. Let's trash that. I don't want to waste the, the materials to fix that. Uh, the uh, armor, I'm probably going to be able to fix that. So, yeah, I'm going to keep that. And I'm going to keep, of course, I'm going to keep the launch system recharger and the efficiency thrusters because... Why not? Why would you want to destroy those? But in order to get off the ground, you're going to need to get your pulse engine up and going. So you're going to need one hermetic seal and one metal plating. Thankfully for me, I can do that no problem because I have the recipes. If not, if you don't have those recipes, before you land, go to the space station. You'll be able to buy it from a pilot or something like or uh, from the terminal. They'll usually have a hermetic seal and you can even get a metal plating if you want. So I'm going to pop those in. Boom, boom, boom. So now it's fixed. We're good to go. Now, I would recommend, you don't have to, but I would recommend fixing your shield just in case you get attacked or anything. At least you have some kind of a buffer. So I'm going to do that right now. And now we can take off. So I would recommend you can bring the materials with you. Like, I have a lot of these materials to fix it. But if you don't, Let's take off. We're going to go over to the space station, and we're going to buy our materials, all right? So let's go. Once you land on the space station, let's get out of our uh, cool explorer. Now, we're going to look at it real fast. Now, if you look at it, it'll tell you all the details about it over on that left side. You see how it says it's an explorer. As it's an A-class with 37 general slots and 12 technology slots, and it costs 28 million units. And that is why you always want to get a crashed ship. Because it didn't cost me a penny to pick it up. It cost me zero to get it. 
Now, I'm going to spend some money on upgrades, but or to fix some of the broken parts in it. But I'm not even going to spend close to 2 million or 20 million. I'll spend probably 2 million if that. And it all depends on if you have a lot of materials or not. So I, I always carry a ton of materials on me in my backpack. If you look at my backpack right here, my cargo has tons of materials. I always collect a lot of it. So like my uh, chromatic metal, I need a lot of that because I only have 512. But I have a lot of magnetized ferrite and I have not that much chromatic metal. So that's what I'm going to have to buy. Those two are the biggest materials for fixing starships. They will suck up so much of your magnetized ferrite. So let's go over here. And I always go to the the, uh, the shop that is right next to the nanite vendors because this is the specialty terminal. This one will more than likely have all your special stuff. Like, look, I have a cobalt mirror if you need that. You know, they, ha they have all these special materials for you just in case. The metal plating right there. Wiring loom just in case you need that. But we're not looking for any of that stuff. We are... Oh, it has tritium. Look at that. An ionized cobalt. I don't need any of this stuff. I need some chromatic metal. That's okay, though. I'm going to need some wiring loom because some of those parts can, are going to need that. That's fine. Boom. And I think that's about it. So it doesn't have anything I really absolutely want, but that's okay. Because, whoop, get out of the way, buddy. I'm trying to fix a starship here. You will see a lot of these. Uh, oh, look at that. The model just landed. And again, if you're here shopping and you see one of these land, it might be an S-Class. Now, keep in mind... Whenever you find a crashed starship in a system, that model will be flying around. So you'll be able to find another version of that. And it could be an A, a B, a C, or an S. The problem is you have a 2% chance of it becoming an S. That's why it takes so long when you're waiting to respawn it at a certain location. A 2%, and that's the biggest chance. You have to have a really good economy for that. You have a 1% chance if it's a middle economy. And if it's a really low-end economy, like a really poor or bad system, that's a 0% chance. You'll never see an S-Class there other than the exotic. But we're, we're, not, we're not worried about that. I mean, if it flies in, that'd be awesome. But we're not worried about it because we already have our A-Class anyway. So, boom. What are we looking for? Look, we have a salt refractor on this side. Oh, magnetized ferrite. We're going to need a lot of that. So I would recommend buying as much as you can. Again... The ship itself costs 20 million units, and we're going to spend maybe 10% of that. Maybe 2 million, if that. It all depends on how much you have. So I'm just going to go boom, boom, boom. What else do we got in here? We have Pugnium. I don't need any of that. So looks like I don't have any chromatic metal. These guys are killing me with chromatic metal, but that's all right. Sometimes the pilots will co come in, and again, they might not fly in. And if you see that, like if you notice that there's no pilots flying in, that's okay. Let's jump into our starship. And let's back out. That way we create a, uh, an auto save. Now what we're going to do is, because no one's flying in, we need to reset the timer. So we're going to reload our last auto save. And we just created a new one by getting out of our ship. So let's keep, go back and reload. Now once you've reloaded, and look at this. This is going to take forever because my I'm playing on Xbox One X. And my textures, there you go, pop in. There's my head. There's my body. It takes forever. Again, like I said earlier, I know I'm repeating myself, but I want to make sure you guys know. If you don't see the, the ship when you first get to the planet or when you first get to the location, let it simmer for a bit, you know? Fly around, land, get out. Let everything load in and then verify that it's not there. Because I've seen some people comment, oh, it wasn't there. Someone took it. It could be that someone did take it. You're totally right on that. Or it could be that... You didn't give it enough time. You didn't land and let all the textures and everything pop in. Because look at this. I'm still going like 40, what is it, like 15, 20 seconds? I still don't have textures? Come on, Xbox One X. And again, at the space station, you're going to need to wait a while before people come flying in anyway. So, you know, 45 seconds is generally between 45 seconds and a minute before they start flying in. That's a cool-looking fighter. So let's see if you got anything. Oh, he's a Gek, too. Why are you flying a fighter, man? Let's see if he has anything for us. We're looking for chromatic metal and maybe par paraffinium if he has it, but he might not have that. That's kind of a rare one as well. I don't see... Oh, look at that paraffinium. We got that. So we're going to buy a whole bunch of paraffinium. And then again, talk to all the pilots that come in. You're going to see them constantly coming in. 
So talk to them. They're all going to have different upgrades, different materials. And more than likely, I mean, I haven't run into a, a place yet that did not have chromatic metal. Now, it might be hard to get. Like, there might be one pilot that flies in, but there is always at least one. Sometimes there are multiple pilots, depending on the, uh, the economy of the system. Look at that. Look at all these guys. Oh, and there's our chromatic metal. So look at that. See? Boom, right there. Easy peasy. And there's platinum right underneath it. You're going to need platinum. Look at this guy. This guy is awesome. He has paraffinium, chromatic metal, and platinum. All three of those are really hard to find. And so you definitely see it's there. You just have to wait around a little bit. It might take a little bit of time. And it's going to take it's going to take a lot of money. I mean, you can't just walk around with like 10 bucks and think you're going to buy everything. You're going to need to bring a couple million with you. But it's going to be a lot cheaper than buying it outright. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm going to buy some more paraffinium because I never, you can never get enough paraffinium, especially if you're playing on normal mode because your, your capacity is 9,999 per slot in your suit inventory. And so pack in as much as you can because if you're going out and you're doing uh, starship hunting, you're going to need a lot of paraffinium, a lot of chromatic metal, a lot of platinum, and a lot of magnetized ferrite. Keep that in mind. Magnetized ferrite will up there too. Anyway, let's start fixing up our ship, and I want to show you guys what this thing looks like. So once you have most of them done, and I also I kept this one out on purpose because it always catches me up. Look at that. It takes 250 magnetized ferrite to fix that one, but it also takes chlorine. Chlorine always catches me off guard. I forget about chlorine, but and you're not going to need that much, but you're going to need a pretty good amount. And that is hard to come by. I don't think they sell it on space stations or trading posts or anything like that. You're going to have to buy it or make it, or I should say, you're going to have to make it more than likely. I haven't seen it. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Let me know down in the comments below. But it's gonna you're going to have to buy it or you're going to have to make that. So just keep that in mind. Also, let's look around real quick. I haven't looked around. All right, yeah, there's nothing else going on here. Okay. So I just wanted to make sure I didn't have another uh, model of this starship, this explorer out here waiting for me. That's an S-Class. But yeah, boom, look at that. All right, let's go check this baby out. So here is the cockpit view if you guys are all in VR and look at that it looks beautiful. I love the explorers. I mean this one's not so much but they're usually a bubble shape and they don't have very many braces so you, the windows are massive. But yeah that's what the cockpit looks like. Now let's see what the other the outside looks like and I always try to do this from the inside of the cockpit because it does that. I love that. so. They, it switches into a model that you can't really l interact with. And that's what I got. Oh, let's move that sun over here so we can get a good lighting effect on this thing. Oh, look at that beautiful thing. Look at that thing. That's pretty sexy, right? So that is how to get that crashed Explorer, and it's symmetrical. That's the biggest thing for me. I don't know if you guys are worried about it, but I am. Let me know down in the comments below if you have to have a, like a symmetrical shape uh, ship. Because I do. It feels weird if I have one of the explorers that's wonky and one wing is small and the other one is huge. I gotta have a huge, a, a symmetrical one with both wings the same. So, hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, 
hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos all the time, and I will see you guys in the next one.